A Defiance, Ohio man was arrested Tuesday, April 18th, after leading police on a pursuit that ended in a crash west of Defiance. We received a report of an intoxicated driver on Holgate Avenue. Officers responded to Holgate Avenue, observed the vehicle. The vehicle began to flee at that time. A uh, pursuit then ensued with the subject accelerating at high rates of speed. Um, officers continue to pursue the erratic driving during that time. When you pass some of the people in the way he did is, is puts, I, I was very scared for everybody. I didn't want anybody to get hurt. I didn't know what he was going to do, but I just, that's the, the biggest thing is, is the fear for the people out on the road that don't know what's coming at them. And like I said, there was, there was potential times where I, I thought there were other people were going to get hurt. Baltimore UAW Park, 90 miles an hour. ER clear, Baltimore UAW 90. Um, made several attempts to try to get him to stop by using my vehicle's PA and, and other less evasive actions to try to stop. At some point near like post 20, I'd noticed that the vehicle was having some mechanical issues and it did slow down to about 40 miles per hour. And I noticed on my vehicle, I was getting spray back of oil, antifreeze and other things. But um, once he had gotten near Krauss Road, went back up to an excessive amount of speed. We were fortunate with the type of pursuit it had that it, it was that there was some mechanical issues so it went from a high speed pursuit down to a lower speed pursuit. Uh, my officers used, uh, attempted twice to use non-invasive techniques to be able to bring the pursuit to a stop. With help of actually three other officers on my shift, we were able to get the vehicle stopped just uh, south of the Bend Road in Defiance County. Uh, after this, after the vehicle left the roadway, everything uh, went nice and smooth. There were no other further altercations after uh, he exited the road, roadway and he, he was taken into custody. Pursuits are nothing that we like to be involved in. Uh, they're a great danger to the public, the drivers, and to law enforcement. So for it to happen the way it happened, uh, and with the best co outcome possible, it couldn't have went any better as far as the law enforcement standpoint.